Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So today is 428 and I cut my lawn for the first time um, today. So depending on where you are in the country, some folks have already cut their lawn a few times. A buddy of mine out in Ohio told me he already cut his lawn four times. So. I guess it really depends where you are. Um, you guys can see this extension cord trailing out. What I want to do is um, give the old Kubota here a cold start. I cut the lawn with the um, zero turn and it did fine, no problems. Um, but I would like to use this machine also this summer and it charges itself up and as a matter of fact when I um, checked it I haven't started it yet but when I um, checked it the battery wasn't completely dead which is um, really good right um, so it held somewhat of a charge over the winter which is a nice big plus I'm just um, What I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if this thing wants to start up. Anyway, um, just quickly, this is a Kubota, a Kubota tractor. Um, and you can see it's a DG1860. Um, that's 18 horsepower and 60 inches, though I think it's only like 54 inches wide. Um, so it's not quite. And... Um, it, the motor it has in it is a three-cylinder Kubota diesel. It's known as a D722, a nice, a nice diesel. Um, so this thing still has the interlocks, which means you got to step on the brake first. And as I turn it, see those lights lit up, and then that's the glow plug. And let's see what she does. Don't like that sound. And it could be because that board fell in. No. Well, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Let's try this again. about 840 hours on it. If you guys can see that. And you can see how easy she started. So the battery's all charged up. Um, this is water cooled, so I didn't have I didn't have to check it all over to make sure there weren't mice living in it. I did check the oil, and the oil was good. So the next thing that has to happen with this thing, believe it or not, is it needs to um, go down to the driveway and it needs a servicing. What it needs is an oil change and a cleanup, um, power wash, and all that wonderful stuff. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to leave it up here in the shed um, for now. Um, so this tractor is a service away from cutting the lawn and the zero turn is already cutting the lawn when it comes to the difference between the two the zero turn is obviously a lot easier to maneuver around whatever you want to maneuver around right if you're cutting around trees or all that kind of stuff but if you're cutting in straight lines um, it's it's hard to get the maximum speed out of it so to speak 
um, because it, it doesn't really track true, so you're kind of always correcting it. Um, though even with that, I think it still cuts faster than this thing. Um, but I'm going to have the two of them to use this year. The zero turn is a little more interesting to drive around because, you, you know, you got to kind of mess around with the handles. Um, so that, that keeps me a little bit more amused than, than driving this thing, especially on the straights, because on the straights with this thing, you just, you know, put your your hand here. I typically drive it wide open, so my, uh, for a speed point of view, so my foot's just smashed right to the floor like that. Um, so between the two of them, I'll... I'll use them to cut the grass. Probably I'll also bring the John Deere um, back online and I'll probably one of the Murray's just the Murray only seems to be good to cut the grass once in between repairs. I'll cut the grass and then one of the spindles will act up or it'll eat a belt or something silly like that. I mean the tractor keeps moving but it the mower deck seems to be very very weak on it. Um, you think the uh, mouse made themselves a nice little hole to get in and out? All right, folks. So Kubota cold start D722 fired right up. Um, I'm told most Kubotas, if you got battery behind it, they start this one. If you have a full charge on the battery, you'd always start it right up. Um, I I think the battery is still alive on he, in this thing, which is surprising me a little bit because um, I haven't used it in um, I, I haven't used it all winter I haven't started it, I haven't charged it, I haven't done anything with it all winter so it's been um, the four months plus probably another two it's been at least six months since this thing's been started and you guys can see how easy it started So um, I have been to the Kubota dealer to buy parts for this thing and according to the people that work at Kubota this thing was like a really nice tractor in its day, like expensive, like people spent too much money buying this tractor. They said it was a great tractor, many of them are still out there and alive, which is great, but um, they said it was expensive, and they, uh, but it, it's, they all said it was a nice tractor, and quite honestly, that's been my experience with it too. <clears throat> anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.